Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. First thing I want to tell you is do I sound different to you today because I sure hope I do. This is my first time using my brand new spick and span new microphone and I'm very excited to see how the sound turns out on this one. I don't know much about microphones as of right now but hopefully we'll figure this out together but for me to be able to do that I need to hear from you if you think this microphone is good or bad. So please let me know how the sound is on your side and we will take it from there. But then let's talk about what I'm actually doing in today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to do a more fall type of vibe where I'm going to go very nude, very basic with some sun-kissed freckles. Doing fake freckles with your makeup has been pretty in and pretty normalized these days. I remember way back when people were first doing it and there was a lot of controversy about does it look good, does it look bad, should you even be doing this when you used to tease people for having freckles in middle school and it was a whole thing. But these days people put moles on their face, put freckles on their face and it's no big deal. So I decided hey I really wanted to give it a shot. I have done it once or twice before but never really turned out great because I kind of added it as an afterthought and today I'm making it like the whole focus and I think it turned out really well so I'm going to show you how I did that. Of course I'm starting with my foundation so I applied primer and then my foundation and this foundation I'm using oxidizes and then the color doesn't suit me so I go in with this like stick concealer I've had forever that's too light for me, mix it in with the foundation that oxidizes too dark for me and then it evens out somewhere looking somewhat normal like something I can can wear. I have been saying I should do a wear test on this foundation and I definitely will at some point. I just want to find a day where I'm actually busy and running around the whole day so that you can actually like see how it lasts up. Otherwise I'm just going to do my makeup and sit in the house full glam the whole day and just keep giving you updates from the couch being like hey still on my computer still wearing my foundation and that's what really going to show you how it lasts. I want to show you how it lasts when I'm out and about sweating, moving around, wearing my mask, doing all of the above. I actually have a whole series of foundation wear tests for all the ones I've used. Every time I use a new one I end up doing a video like that and I enjoy doing it so I will definitely do it for this foundation. As you might also have noticed I've been using brushes for my foundation more than my beauty blender in this video and yes I am still using my beauty blender but it's so much fun going in with my foundation brushes because I do have one or two of them and it feels like I have more control and I feel like I know what I'm doing because I'm using different brushes for different things. It's a very fun, very cool experience and I've been getting a lot more into that recently. I really want to get myself a sturdier, shorter bristled brush with a flat head that I can use to blend out the concealers specifically. Like right now I'm just using my foundation brush that I used to paint on the foundation but I want one to like specifically blend out underneath my eyes and control that. And that way when I have different brushes I don't have to really worry about what's on it especially if I just keep using it for the same thing. Like my biggest issue is that dual fiber foundation brush I have. I use it to apply my foundation and then I also use it to apply my cream contour and then the next time I go back and use my foundation I have to worry about if it's clean enough or if I'm gonna have brown face because there's still cream contour on it so I have to clean it in between every time even though I absolutely don't do that. I should though but that's a worry I don't want to have. I instead want a face brush for every different step so that I don't have to worry about what is on it I can just go in and use it every time. But yeah I've definitely been enjoying using more brushes but then just force of habit and to make sure everything melts together nice and smooth I go in with my beauty blender and blend it all out. This also just helps to pick up any extra product if there is any and I feel like it takes away some of the shine but don't quote me on that. That is what the powder is for in any ways. I am doing my normal foundation routine. It has changed a little bit but I believe I explained it in detail in a recent video that I will link for if you want to see. But one thing that has changed is my blush. I've been using cream blush or I like to say cream blush but actually I'm just using an old lipstick that I don't wear on my lips because it just doesn't last. It rubs off way too easily but it blends out really nice when you use it as a blush. So I'm using it on my cheeks on my forehead and across the bridge of my nose to give myself that sun-kissed look. I really want to look like my freckles are popping because I've been in the sun recently and I also low-key want it to look like they're peeking through my makeup not like I have freckles on top of my makeup but we'll get to that now. now. For now I'm just trying to make myself look nice pink rosy and sun-kissed and then because the top half of my face is so nice and red I want a touch of red at the bottom so I kind of contoured my chin with a little bit of blush just to balance out the colors. For this I just blend it out with my hands just sit there tapping my face until I feel it's blended and smooth enough and I'm happy enough to go on. And then I also went in with a brighter shade. This is a coral lipstick I have from LA Girl and I'm using this because I want the blush to be a bit richer, a bit brighter because I want to look 
a little bit sunburned, not just like I'm blushing a normal amount. I want you to look at me and be like, oh, you hit some sun. I find it funny that cream blushes are so in these days because back when I started my channel, which is quite a while ago now, I didn't have one of everything. Like I was slowly building my makeup collection. And when I started out, I didn't have a blush. I did get one when I bought a palette that had bronzer and blush and everything in it. But initially I didn't have a blush. So I would use this pink lipstick I had as blush instead. And I was low key and to do that because it felt like a very cheap hack and no one was doing it and it was embarrassing to do it so I did it but I didn't tell people I did it and then I very quickly bought myself a powder blush but now that cream blush is in and it's the whole thing right now everyone is using lipstick as their blush and everyone says it's such a cool normal thing to do which I'm glad it's normal to do now because then I can use lipsticks I was gonna throw away but also it's interesting to see how times have changed anyways I'm finally making freckles on my face and to do this I'm using a small brush with a very fine tip and I'm using Using my eyebrow powder. I have this eyebrow duo with a lighter and a darker color and I'm using the darker one and I'm dotting it all across the bridge of my nose right underneath my eyes but I'm also placing it between my eyebrows on my forehead and right underneath my eyebrows and the reason I'm doing that is because this whole look was inspired by looking at my brother when he was with me on my birthday and thinking his freckles were so cute and noticing that he had a few under his eyebrows and I never realized that freckles show up in that area. I always just thought of freckles like on the bridge of your nose. So I was working based on my brother and where he has freckles on his face and he has them all over and I think it's a really nice touch to have them underneath your eyebrows. However I didn't feel like I had enough freckles and I felt that the size variation wasn't good. It was all kind of the same size because I was just using the one brush. So I took my eyebrow pomade, sprayed some setting spray in it just to wet it a little bit and then I dipped my foundation brush, my dual fiber brush in there, stippled it on my hand first to see if it would work and then stippled it across the bridge of my nose and again slightly under my eyebrows and on my forehead. That made it look a little bit dirty so to kind of smooth it all in and make it look a bit better I went in my kabuki brush to just go over it and diffuse it a bit and then I liked what it looked like more. It definitely made it more subtle and like it was peeking through the skin and not on top of the skin and it definitely looked less dirty but then I just kept going back and forth until I was happy I set the area I then went back in and made more dots to make some of them lighter and some of them darker then I went in and I set my under eyes and I set my blush by going over it with a normal powder brush a normal powder blush and I left it for now but I'm not done doing the fake freckles thing is really just doing it getting used to what it looks like, going back, adding something. If you feel like it's too much, you just go in and you buff over it with a different brush because that will lighten it up. You can also apply some face powder over it to make it a bit lighter and then you can go in and make things darker again as you wish. Just don't do too much at once because you don't want it to actually look dirty because you have too much on your face. So rather do less and then give yourself a second to get used to it and see where you feel like you need more. But after I have the freckles on, I'm continuing with the rest of my makeup. Like I said, I wanted to look like the freckles are peeking through through my makeup and not like I have makeup freckles on so what I am doing is going over the freckles with my blush the highlighter on my cheeks and everything like that so that it looks like my makeup is sitting on top of my freckles and not the other way around after I highlighted my face in all the typical areas I also picked up some highlighter on this fluffy large face brush and just dusted it over the sun-kissed area right across the bridge of my nose and on my forehead because I remember every time I've had a really bad sunburn I look nice and shiny so I wanted to incorporate that a little bit to make it look a little bit more authentic and then because I was finally done with all the powders on my face I sprayed some setting spray and just worked that in with my beauty blender to make sure everything is set in place. Now moving on to eyeshadow like I said I'm doing something super basic so I'm just picking up some nude browns and I'm working them into my crease just to give my eyes some definition. I'm more going to worry about the liner and the lashes not really the eyeshadow today but I also don't want there to be nothing. So I put a little bit of brown in my crease and then I went in with a fluffy blending brush to just buff that all out so it looked nice and smooth. Then I remembered that this is supposed to be a fall inspired look even though we're actually going into spring here, not fall. So I picked up a touch of an orange color and also worked that into the crease to give it a bit of a more warm tone. And I'm glad I did that because beforehand the freckles were too close in color to the eyeshadow and it looked a little funny so it was nice to differentiate the color a little bit. And then just to clean up the eyeshadow look a little bit, I picked up a nude shade and applied it on my lid to make my eyes look nice and big. And then blend, 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 blend until you're happy with what it looks like. Finally, it's time for eyeliner. I love using these liquid eyeliners that come with a brush. I don't like using those pen eyeliners. And then I really quickly threw on a thin wing. And by quickly, I mean I tried my best to not overthink it and go back and change things. I literally just threw the wing on, drew the line across my lash line, and then went in to create those inner corner wings. 
I know they're hard, I know they're effort, but they look so nice. Just remember to do them after you've highlighted in your inner corner, otherwise you kind of go over it and it doesn't look good, and then you have to go in and redo it, and it's never on the same place and just doesn't look nice. So do your eyeliner after your highlight. To make my lashes look full and to define my eyes more, I then went in with my black pencil liner and I tight lined, meaning I went on my upper waterline and my lower waterline. And on the topic of black pencil eyeliners, I'm looking for a new one because the one I have now is fine, but it's not great and it's been lasting forever, which is a good thing, but not really if I don't like using it. So I am looking for a new one, but I don't know how to look at an eyeliner pencil and know if it's going to be a good one or not. And I've only really tried like two in my whole life, of which is this one that I don't like and one that's not cruelty free. So if you do know of any cruelty free black pencil eyeliners, please let me know because I am looking for a new one. And then I'm going in and curling my lashes before going in with my mascara. I always do this even though I'm going to go in with false lashes because that way my lashes do blend in with the falsies. Otherwise, you can kind of see your own lashes going straight and the false lashes curving upwards. And number two, you can see like your lashes kind of look gray in comparison to the false lashes that are like jet black. So I do all these steps to make sure my lashes will blend in. And then the other thing I discovered is I put mascara on my lower lashes and then I sweeped it sideways with a little brush. And I really like the look it gave. I like that little side swept lower lash. Anyways, onto lashes. I'm using these Eyelier ones. I haven't worn them a lot. They're definitely still new. I haven't broken them in yet, so the band is resisting, curving, and fitting to my eye. And you can see that in a minute when I put on the other one, because it was not sticking. And I put it on a few times. I was telling myself, it's fine. It's stuck down. It's not lifting that much. No one will be able to see that it's lifting, but you can see. It was lifting. It was lifting by so far. It was lifting so much. And I even give you guys like a close-up view at the end of what the freckles look like. And my lash is just sticking out there like a bridge to another continent. So that's just that's just lovely. We're going to pretend we don't see that today. But that's all we're doing for the eyes. I'm very happy with what they look like. I really like these subtle looks, to be honest. But I wanted to keep going with a warm tone. So when it came to lipstick, I went in with a brown lipstick. I was considering nude, but I felt that wouldn't be impactful enough so I went in with this brown one I've been using forever put it on all over and then I went in with a brush after filling in my lips to just like define that lip line because I don't have a brown lip liner as of now I want to get one but for now I'm just using a brush to clean up those edges and it made it look really nice and sharp so I recommend doing that if you don't have a lip liner but you know I always mix my lipsticks I'm never happy with just the one solid color and I have to have some type of gradient for dimension so I went in with that same coral color I was using earlier in the blush just to lighten up that middle and I really like what it looked like the only thing I didn't like is how hard it is to like mix cream lipsticks because there's just so much cream at the end of the day and you don't know where to go with all of it but we are finally wrapping up the makeup so I'm giving myself another once over with a setting spray and here's the lovely little close-up of what that lash looks like sticking out but again we are ignoring that so I'm moving on to my hair because I wanted this to be like the whole look usually I just do the makeup and go all is good no matter what I'm wearing but this time I want you guys to see a whole look I'm wearing a cute sweater I got from my mom and I did my makeup nice so now I'm gonna do my hair and I'm not gonna do anything dramatic as you'll see I'm just gonna give myself a side part which is something I haven't done much since I've had the blonde pieces because I feel like it's uneven but it doesn't look that bad I should actually embrace it more because it gives you a bit of a peekaboo on the one side but how I split my hairs I start on the side on the front and then I aim for the middle and the back so that my hair isn't like unbalanced and too heavy on the one side so I tucked the one side behind my ear and the other side I gave a little bit of a tease to give it some volume so it looks nice not a lot because I do not want to worry about detangling my hair later just a little tease and then pushing my hair up so it has a bit of volume and then going over the top to make sure everything is smooth and then to round off the whole look I'm putting on these glasses of mine now these are technically my glorified lab goggles I didn't want to wear normal goggles in the lab so I got these instead because they do the same thing and it looks much cuter. I like them a lot and I've been liking wearing them recently like normal glasses. I don't have a prescription or anything but I think it looks cute. I have already managed to bend them unfortunately so I should try and fix that but we're gonna stick to it for the look because I think it's super cute. But while I give you this little montage of what I looked like with a close up of what the freckles look like, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I always enjoy sharing things with you and you definitely make it worth sharing videos. It's fun having someone watch and it's fun getting comments and feedback and stuff like that. So I definitely appreciate that. I hope you feel appreciated and then I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye bye. See you at the gate.
Okay, I look funny, but I'll see you now.